Hello everyone, my name is Liang Su. I am a medical physicist from Ma Miriam Cancer Hospital, Penang, Malaysia. I am a second top TOMO planner in this uh, 2017 RT plan competition. So today I would like to share my planning strategy with all of you. Hopefully we can learn something together. Okay, I registered myself as a TOMO planner in this competition and I have moved, uh, I have more than a four years experience on TOMO. I personally think that this RT plan competition is a good platform for physicists and dosimetrists. Planners push their RTPS to the limit in order to achieve high score. Everyone learn from this competition and at the end, it will benefit the cancer patients. This is one of the aim of the organizer as well. In my presentation, I will talk about the competition, treatment machine and TPS I use, contouring method, optimization, plan evaluation, results and conclusions. First, I try to understand the rules. For example, the must pass objectives, protocol, dose prescription, and fractionation before I start planning. Then, the general plan requirements for TPS I use. For example, the maximum beam on time allowed for TOMO is less than uh, 20 minutes. Scoring criteria and formula used to calculate conformity index, homogeneity index. Then understand well the details of the plan competition will prevent from wasting time due to misunderstand the rules. In fact, I always communicate with Ahmad during the competition and he is very helpful and answer to my questions regardless how busy he was. Next, it is very important to understand the machine and TPS. It allowed me to introduce uh, our Tomo machine in our center. We install our Tomo HD in January 2013. First patient treated on March 2013 and until today we have treated more than 560 patients. Okay, Tomo HD is a single energy treatment machine equipped with a 6 MV treatment beam. The computer optimized up to 51 angles per rotation. It has 64 binary MLC maximum 3,264 beamless per rotation. 40 centimeter fill width with three different, uh, three different, uh, different jaw size, one centimeter, 2.5 centimeter and five centimeter. Okay. Technique I use in this competition is Tomo Helical. The, uh, the TPS version in our hospital is 2.1.0 with Volo. Okay, what is Volo? Volo also known as a voxelless optimization. It is faster comparing to a non-Volo TPS. Before I talk about contouring, I would like to touch on the isocenter position. I normally would place the isocenter at the center of the target. But in this case, I place it on the so-called most critical area which is in between the target and brainstem. I believe it will help to get a better coverage on the uh, critical area easier. The contouring was done on, on central master plan instead of TOMO because uh, TOMO is not uh, a fantastic TPS for contouring. The resolution is one of the reasons which I will discuss more 
uh, later in my slides. Uh, the edited planning targets and planning OARs are very important to help in achieving the dosimetric criteria. Help structures created are equally important. Dummy structures, help structures or planning structures created by planner is one of the major factors that determine the plan outcome. So I advise spend adequate time in planning how to draw structures in order to achieve better results. This is the example for my planning PTV70. First, copy the PTV70 structure and name it as plan PTV70. Then crop out the volume which is close or overlap to the brainstem PRV. It is very important to check on the plan PTV 70's volume. Make sure it is still possible to achieve the uh, good conformity index. Because if you crop out too big the volume, you will never achieve good conformity index because CI is not calculated based on this plan PTV 70 volume. It is calculated based on the true PTV 70 structure. Same goes to plan PTV 63. Copy PTV 63 and subtract PTV 70, then name it as plan PTV 63. Then crop out the volume which is close to the brainstem PRV. Same for plan PTV 56. Copy the PTV 56 structure and subtract PTV 63, then name it as plan PTV 56. Crop out the volume which is close to the eyes and optic nerves PRV. For help structures, I have ring structures where created outside the PTVs to improve the conformity index. Make a copy for each OAR structures, for example, oral cavity, larynx, parotid, and esophagus, and subtract 0.5 cm away from PTV for planning purpose. But in this plan, I only done it for oral cavity and parotid, as larynx and esophagus are not overlapping with, uh, uh, with the PTVs. So I copy the oral cavity structure and subtract 5mm away from nearby PTVs and name it as oral cavity avoidance. At the end, I excluded the parotid from optimization uh, due to I run, or run out of time. I, I decided to sacrifice parotid. Later, I will, uh, you, uh, I will show you uh, in my result. After the contouring part, we proceed to optimization. Since the clinical plan allows longer beam on time, hence one centimeter jaw width was selected to improve dose distribution in between slices. Because uh, normally uh, we use 2.5 and our treatment, uh, our beam on time is around six or seven minutes. Doses and penalties in the optimization tab are to be adjusted gradually to fine-tune the plan. Drastic changes on the parameters may cause the dose distribution to go erratic and unbalanced. These are the settings I use for targets. Initially, I set all the targets for its own prescription dose at median. Then I tune it accordingly during the optimization process. The BP63 structure was created to improve minimum dose coverage at the overlap, overlap region between brachial plexus and the PTV63. Because I don't want 
it to be uh, too low the dose and it will affect my uh, my scoring for the uh, uh, CI for the PTV63. This is my final plan result. Uh, sorry, um, this is the optimization for the uh, OARs. Doses and penalties are to be adjusted gradually. Avoid drastic changes on the parameters. Plan evaluation is very important in this plan competition. But unfortunately, image resolution on the Tomo TPS is inferior. Due to Tomo DICOM server, by default, downsamples the CT images to 256 by 256 metrics. Therefore, treatment plan evaluation can be challenging due to difficulty in estimating the PTVs and OARs those accurately. I exported my plan to on central master plan to do my plan evaluation. Even though OMP has better image resolution, the plan score calculated still differ from the score calculated by the organizer, which is expected. By receiving my trial plan score from the organizer, I can improve my subsequent plan scoring with this info by looking at the variances between my TPS score and the organizer's scoring software. It is very helpful and a good idea to have an Excel sheet which can help planners to auto-calculate the result. And I would like to thank uh, Simon Heist for sharing this with us. He's the top, plan, top TOMO planner in uh, this competition. Okay, this is my final plan result. As you can see here, the priority score are, uh, is zero. This is due to I choose to sacrifice it during the optimization, as uh, I mentioned earlier. Other than priority, uh, those did not score well were the uh, conformity index for PTV uh, 56, homogeneity index for PTV 63, and homogeneity index for PTV 56. So for me, I felt that the OARs are easier to get high score compared to the PTVs. Okay, conclusions for my presentation. It is always important to understand the criteria of the competition. Spending more time on the contouring will save you even more time during optimization. And be patient when fine-tuning the plan. Last but not least, do not underestimate the capability of your TPS. Okay, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Radiation Knowledge, the organizer of this 2017 RT plan competition and also Mr. Ahmad Oba, the founder of Radiation Knowledge, and my hospital, Mount Miriam Cancer Hospital, and the oncologist team in Mount Miriam Cancer Hospital, and also the medical physics team in Mount Miriam Cancer Hospital. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.